micro surveillance? Well, pleasantly surprised to find two engineering prototypes of the new Hawkeye from Airhogs RC to test when I got home. And since I got two, I thought it'd be great to let Jeff have the other one to fly and try. Well, Spin Master, that's Airhogs RC, again introduces it first. The hardest thing about it was getting it out of the box. This micro helicopter has a built-in video camera that takes 240x320 vids and 640x480 stills. It can take 5 minutes of video and hundreds of stills. It's a pretty clever design with very flexible blades, it won't and doesn't break, and an EPO foam body. It's balanced to fly just slightly forward so taking off and landing is a bit tricky. But once you have a little practice and learn the flight characteristics, you'll find it flies pretty nicely. Well, destined to be introduced in the fall of 2010, it also comes with a free download to a video editing program so you can edit your videos with the sound effects, voice, music, etc. The suggested retail price is $64.95. That is less than the reflex was with the camera to boot. So let's take a look at it fly and then discuss what is good and what is bad. It charges through the included USB cord while you can download and look at your pictures at the same time. When the light is flashing green, it's fully charged. It can also be charged through any USB charger supplying 5 volts. Okay, it's charged. Let's turn on. It says we can turn on the controller. Controller is on, and we can turn on the uh, helicopter with this switch right here. Now that's up. And according to this, if I push the right button here, I will get a recording. Right now, this is recording. And uh, the red light is on. I guess to stop it, push it again, and that's all. Take a still picture, which is 640 by 480, and push the other button. Let's see what happens here. So that's a still. All right, let's give it a maiden flight. Okay, start the recording. Here we go. Recording on. Shut the recording off. Here. Let's try some stills. One still there. And one still there. If you're gonna take off from the ground, make sure to have a smooth surface, and this is why. Let's give it a smooth surface. This is very cool. Okay, just gonna put it back on the, uh, on its charger here like this, snap that in there, then plug in the USB port in the back, this begins the charging sequence, there we go, and I have a, uh, I can look at my video files now and this while this is charging, simple enough.
And just like with any camera, the smoother you fly or hold the camera, the better the pictures come out. And that'll make you a smoother pilot in the long run. All right, a little garage flying now. Is the camera on? Recording. Camera's on on the Hawkeye. This is not your daddy's prime. <laughs> it always spins until it gets up to hover. Same on landing, it will spin. You trim it just for hover. Yes, it always spins going down too, and usually falls over, but it doesn't hurt it, as long as you shut it off. Didn't hurt the planes though. That's pretty cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, camera off. How about a still picture? A still picture, here we go. He took it, yep. Yeah. All right, that's pretty cool. That's fun. Now, it's Jeffrey's turn. What's the deal? I don't know, hold it. Let's hand launch it. Spin it up. That's the best way to handle it. <laughs> Great right. job, Jeff. Okay, it tips over easy, so just real easy. Uh, and it catches, so go ahead and hand launch it, and I think that's the best way to fly this. Just bring it up to speed, camera. And bring it up to speed. and catch it like that okay definitely this is fun uh, for the younger generation and us older kids who like to play around and experiment one of the negatives is there's no sound but you probably wouldn't be able to hear anything anyway with the uh, rotor blades and wind so as you see the negatives really are it tips over easy so hand launch is the best way and since it's IR controlled infrared, that means it has to be line of sight. So fluorescent lights could mess it up. But uh, for the most part, uh, you, you can follow around and have a good time and you can get those cute unexpected animal shots. This is a great tool for the young budding UAV pilots of our future. This is a lot of fun. I give it thumbs up. You know whether it takes pictures or not, it's still pretty fun to fly.